gonna be taking a look today at the ADATA XPG Gaming RAM. Now, some of you may be going, what's ADATA? I've never heard of ADATA. Well, ADATA is a company that's been around for quite a long time, but they did a lot of business solutions, uh, portable hard drives, that sort of thing. And they're really now trying to um, really expand upon their gaming line of RAM. And so that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Um, the unboxing is really easy. There it is, you can see it. In fact, it's not even a box, it's a plastic sleeve, which is perfectly okay because, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's got this little tab right here, you just pull it back, and it's free. Well, the RAM's not free, you have to pay for it, but here it is. It's very unique design in terms of the, uh, the heat spreader on there, and it's available in different colors. You can get it in gold and this kind of a gunmetal gray. I don't know if there's any other colors besides that but uh, it is a very um, attractive RAM. I, I like the way it looks. The PCB on the RAM is black. That's awesome. I mean, there's nothing uglier than looking at a green PCB underneath a really cool heat sink, um, just messing up your color scheme. Uh, it's pretty heavy duty. It is an aluminum heat sink here. I'm taking a look at the heat pads. They're all touching all of the, uh, the RAM modules. So it looks like we're gonna have good cooling on there. And let's go ahead and talk about the speed. Um, we are looking at the 8 gigabyte kit. It's two times four gigabytes. And what a lot of people get stuck on the speed of the RAM. Oh, it's 1600 megahertz, or it's 1866, or it's 2133. It's 3000 megahertz. Some people might go, well, 1600 is a little bit slow by today's standards. Well, it really depends on what you're doing. We've already learned that gaming RAM in some of my previous videos does not benefit from super fast RAM speeds. There are some exceptions out there before you guys start writing me hate mail. Yes, there are some exceptions like uh, Minecraft and APUs. We're not talking about APUs here, guys. We're talking about gaming systems that use graphics cards. Uh, there, there is, uh, I believe, Skyrim with all of the texture mods that just eats up RAM like crazy. We're talking about quantity of RAM there, but not so much the speed of the RAM. So the XPG line, at least this RAM module I'm looking at is 1600 megahertz, but the timing on this the timing is 99924. I'm not gonna get into what those numbers mean. I'm just gonna tell you that with your CL latency or your timing of 99924 for gaming, that's very quick RAM. The latency on this is great. And the latency is, is uh, uh, very important when it comes to communicating with your processor, especially for overclocking. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this RAM, we're gonna throw it in a rig that I'm building right now, and we're gonna see just how well this RAM performs. We're gonna see how far we can overclock it, and we're gonna see what kind of benchmarks we get using this XPG uh, RAM from ADATA. Okay, so it's been approximately three weeks since I've received the RAM, and uh, I've been using it now for almost that length of time. And I've put this RAM through an awful lot of stress testing, both through gaming, synthetic benchmarks, memory tests, memory overclocking, uh, BIOS te uh, uh, you know, all the overclocking is done in the BIOS. And if there's one word I had, to, I have to use when it comes to this RAM, that would honestly be reliable. I could not get the RAM to fail until I reached 2400 megahertz as the effective clock on the RAM. That's a lot. I can't even get my Corsair Vengeance to boot at 2200, let alone 2400. And these passed my stability test at 2200. Now granted, you have to relax the timings quite a bit when you overclock RAM that far, but the bottom line is it was stable and it was fast. And I'm going to be putting some images up here showing you the different benchmarking scores through um, mem test on uh, or max mem on just how well these modules did and uh, you know I think everything about this RAM is terrific I, I think this is excellent gamer RAM um, they may not be the fastest timings on the market but they are certainly quick enough where gamers aren't going to notice it whatsoever and you can save some cash by going with 1600 memory modules like this or 1600 megahertz modules like this as opposed to buying 2000 or 2200 base clock modules because you can get good overclocking performance out of these 
you want to make sure you have good air airflow over the RAM modules, obviously. But which brings me to another point: the heat sinks on this are fairly low profile. I mean, some heat sinks out there, even though they they've got these points right here, they're fairly low profile. Where some get really high and they get a bit ridiculous on that. I mean, they look really good. They overclock even better. Um, I definitely, I definitely enjoy this RAM. In fact, I'll be honest, I had never used a data RAM prior to this, and the XPG line. Um, it, it's pretty badass. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I would certainly use these and feel comfortable using these for, you know, if you're building a, a computer now or maybe you're looking for a new RAM, I would consider these. I honestly would. These are great modules at a great price. At the time of filming, these were only sitting at about 65 bucks for an 8 gigabyte kit. I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, you can get 16 gigs for 120 bucks. That's cheaper than I paid for my Corsair RAM. So, there you go, guys. The XPG, the A Data XPG gamer line of RAM. Uh, I would like to see some more colors. The gunmetal just looks killer. I love the gunmetal look on this. It matches the Gigabyte build perfectly, and uh, it does. It is available in gold, but I would like to see maybe red, um, maybe some blue, and definitely a black to make sure you cover all your bases when it comes to aesthetic builds. So there it is, guys. Jace Two Cents taking a look at the XPG A Data modules here. Go and check them out. I mean. You've got nothing to lose and only stability and speed to gain. There it is, guys. You know what to do if you like this video. You know what to do if you did not like this video. And if there's anything you want to see me review, make sure you put it down in the comments. I would like to review things that you guys want to know more about making the smart buyers here this holiday season when it comes to buying and building your own PC. I'm going to get out of here. i got more stuff to do. As always, I will see you in my next video.